Hey YouTube, it's your homeboy 7 Don 4. And I want I want to see this. I want to see this, you know, I'm tired of people, you know, leaving a comment, you know, like do I know what I'm talking about? Or what do I know what I'm doing? You know, it says in my prescription and on my freaking channel, I'm a red belt in the ITF International Taekwondo, a black belt and ATA Martial Arts Association, and which is ATA American Martial Arts Association. I forgive me on that. And um, I studied a two months master course in Krav Maga. I know about street fighting. Um, and that's what I train in, in street fight. I don't really train for competition. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been having a little bit of a cold. Um, but I'm just saying that I'm just saying that uh, I'm getting tired of people asking stupid questions like do you know what you're doing or something like that in my videos you know if I didn't know what I was doing I wouldn't be making my videos um, that's the reason why I, you know I don't really teach, I just do. You know, I don't I'm not really certified to teach. But I can I am certified to show to show my stuff off, but I am not certified to teach. So basically I am a black belt through ATA system. I can teach that system if I really wanted to. But, the only thing I don't like about ATA martial arts is that it's too flowery of a mess. Like, it's too, it's too wushu, kind of like wushu in a way, kind of like too flowery of a forms. I'm not really into all the floweriness where, where I want to say the ITF. International Taekwondo so it's International Taekwondo Federation Association. When I went there to train in traditional Taekwondo, um, I learned the hard style of Taekwondo, the more aggressive style of Taekwondo, not the flowery kind of Taekwondo. And do I know what I'm doing? Yeah, I learned out of books. I teach myself now. <clears throat> why pay... Why pay a hundred bucks a month? Or two hundred a month? A hundred bucks a month, two hundred a month, whatever for lessons. When you get online and teach yourself out of a book. Or go on... I'm going to YouTube. You know, you can learn so many things on freaking YouTube now. So, that's where I get most of my stuff from. It's from YouTube, because since I'm self-taught anyway, as is right now, I said that's my only line and option that I can, I can go on. That I can go on and everything else. I mean, it's okay to learn by yourself. It's okay to learn on your own. It's okay to know what you're doing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. You know, I just hate it when somebody asks a dumb question like that in one of my comments on my videos saying, do you know what you're doing? Well, if I didn't know what I was doing, I wouldn't be making my videos. You know, 
You know, people just need to think before they say. You know, that, that's the thing. That's the problem nowadays. You know, people just ask stupid questions half the time. You know, like they don't even make sense. When, when, when they do ask it in the video, like, you know what you're doing? Well, yeah, I do know what I'm doing. Yeah, I do know what I'm doing because I got taught all the basics. When I was doing ITF Taekwondo, International Taekwondo Federation. I'm doing that style, but I kind of quit it because the school closed down, and I had to find another school since. I found another school that teaches the same system, but I didn't like how that school was run. And I went there one or two times, and I thought about giving it another shot, and I just didn't like it because the woman was teaching it and she wouldn't even really give like good instructions on how to uh, teach the kicks or anything and like she was just taking the parents money pretty much and I wasn't for that so um But in the whole entire time, when she when I was there, I mean she was basically flirting with me. She wasn't even really uh, teaching, you know. She was well, trying to flirt with me more instead of teaching. And I said, "You got a class to teach." I said, "You don't you don't need to be flirting with me. You got a class to teach." I said, "If you want to flirt with me, wait till after class." They might like flirt. But, do I know what I know what I'm doing? In my videos, yes, I do. I am, I started when I was 15 years old in martial arts. I am 35, 36. 36 years old now. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, I started out in boxing. I started out in boxing. I started out uh, in Tai boxing in Tai Chi. Um, self taught on Tai Chi. Because um, there weren't really any Kung Fu instructors out there around where I live at so the only thing I had to do was learn from my book but I want to say this you know before you make a comment of a question think before you ask because you know I just like I said I just love it how people say oh you don't know what you're doing or or uh oh you're the next Napoleon Dynamite or, um, oh, you need to have a good form on this or good form on that. Who cares about form? Who cares about precise technique? Yeah, if you want precise technique, yeah, it's okay to do in training. But when you come in, you know, when you come to reality... When it comes to reality fighting, you ain't gonna fucking do it. You ain't gonna fucking, uh, you ain't gonna fucking end up do it perfect in a fight. I'm sorry. If you think you can do a technique perfect in a fight, come prove it to me. You know, prove it to me that you can do it on somebody perfect without trying to hurt trying to you know say oh you could have good form prove it you know go out and make your own you know if you think I'm not doing any better on my videos or whatever go make your own channel go make your own channel see if you can do more more better than what I can you 
you know, but I don't see you guys doing that, you know, that's the thing, you know, that's, that's the reason why I'm still doing my videos, I don't care, I don't care what people think, you know, if they think I don't have good form, but what, so what, I don't care, I don't care if I have good form, I don't care if I, you know, am doing the technique right or not, you know, it's because I'm still learning as a student, I'm still learning, you know, as a martial artist, still learning new things on my own, and my hand strikes are superb, but I've always never been really much of a kicker, and, but my hand striking is superb, um, I studied karate over the years, when I was in HEA, uh, martial arts, American Taekwondo Association, school they taught me karate there um in that system i didn't really technically get a black belt through karate but i got a black belt through their system their school so saying that i study their art whatever but i'm just saying this you know for the ones that want to make a stupid comment like do you know what you're doing Think. Think before you make the comment. If you know what I you think, I know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. Why would I not be making these videos? I've been on this YouTube platform. My old my old channel got taken down somehow. I don't know why. I don't know what the reason why it got taken down. Um, it was Seth eighty seven. Um, that channel got taken down somehow. Um, so I'm trying to play it safe with my channel, um, right now, because I don't want to get any strikes on me. I don't want my video being report reported or anything like that. I try to keep it minimized on what I say and what I talk about, and I try to keep my videos clean. When when I do talk, I try not to get all nasty and everything in my tough videos like how I am right now. Um, it's just that it just irritates me when I work so hard on my videos that somebody wants to ask a dumb question. Like, you know what you're doing. If I didn't know what I was doing, I wouldn't make the video. Common sense. So, yeah, I'm in my car. I just... Got home, off work and everything, getting gas and everything. And, you know, it's like I said, I I am just tired of people, you know, asking to see if I know what I'm doing. Or, oh, you need good form and stuff like that. You don't need good form to practice martial arts. You know, look at... Look at Bruce Lee, you know, for instance. Look at Chuck Norris, for instance. Look at Muhammad Ali, you know. They didn't really have good form in their fighting ability, but just they still made it work. And, that, and that's the thing. It still made it fucking work. And... They, they still made a fucking work and everything. But, David is. It's like I said, when you're in a real fight, it ain't, it ain't always going to be pretty. Because you can never make the technique perfect in a real fight. Unless if you could do it over and over and over like I do. How I do in drills on the heavy bag. How I do them in the air. Um, I even learn off videos, you know instructional videos at home on the art itself on what I practice on. And so I'm always learning something new. You know, I might borrow a few techniques off the DVD that I learned and then I'll apply it into what I've turned and learned now and do it that way. But it's just that I just get tired of people, you know, leaving like 
Brew comments. Brew comments. And but hey, it's making me make more videos. Cause I really don't even really care about the root comments. I just don't like it when people say, oh, I'm the Napoleon Dynamite or uh, or one person called me boy. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. I'm not a kid. You know. And another one called me fat. I'm not fat. I'm not heavy set. You know, people just don't know what fat is. Fat is like 500, 600 pounds. I am 150. Yeah, I'm 150. I, I checked my weight last night. I am 150 pounds now. I lost, I, I was 160. But since I've been doing a lot of calisthenics, Lately, a lot of shadow bossing, a lot of bag work, uh, working on techniques in the air, and I dropped down 10 pounds. I eat normal. I'm not on any diet or nothing. And that's the thing, and everybody says, are you on any diet or whatever? Why well, you didn't be on a fucking diet. Just eat normal. Just don't consume it a lot. That, that's that's what I always tell people, and everybody's like, "What do you what do you uh, eat? What do you eat? Uh, what do you eat in your diet?" I have no diet. I've tried dieting. Dieting does not work. I mean, it might work for some people, but it don't for me. Um, that's another thing, and if I just quit back, quit back cutting. <laughs> If I quit cutting on, if I quit drinking this, I'll be all right. But I gotta have my caffeine in a once in a while, and that's my only weakness right there is caffeine. But um, other than that, I know what I'm fucking doing in my videos. I know what I'm doing, and. No rude comments gonna stop me making my videos. Um, the haters out there, you know, you guys give me, you guys give me pride. That's what I'm saying. You guys give me pride because all you haters out there on my channel that want to leave like a rude comment on my video. You can just make me want to make more videos. So, because you don't even have your own real pic on your on your profile, you just have the letter and some fake name. It don't. It's not even your real name or whatever as your account. I mean, you don't even have your real picture on your profile, and you don't even want to show your face. And I look at it this way: if you don't think I know what I'm doing. Why don't you just come find me where I'm at here in Iberia, Missouri and we'll train and we'll train in martial arts. If you guys want to learn martial arts, you know, I will train you, train with you. If you guys think I don't know what I'm doing, come find me in Iberia. Come find me in Liberia, and I'll be willing to teach you martial arts if you are wanting to learn, if you don't think I know what I'm doing. So I got the focus mitts. Um, I got some gloves. You know, we can spar. We can hit the focus mitts. Uh, we can do workouts, you know, agility drills. You know, you name it, you got it. Whatever it is you want to do. Other than killing each other. We don't kill. We fight for fun. So. And that's the thing. It's just that I. I am looking for people to train with. And. But I just don't want people to think that I don't know what I'm doing. And. 
you know, that, that, that just kind of irritated me a little bit when somebody asked me, um, do you know what you're doing of a stupid question? What type of question is that? Why did you even ask that? Um, but yeah, all you haters out there, you guys give me pride to keep on ego, whatever you want to call it, pride, ego, um, whatever it may be. Um, basically my pride, because I do take a lot of pride in my YouTube channel. Um, that's the reason why I changed the name to Seth McDonald 4. It was Seth G. Kim Kwan 4, but I changed it from that to Seth, M Seth Martial Arts Fitness. And that's what I basically do. It it's martial art fitness. So I do know what I'm doing. And if y'all don't think I know what I'm doing, come find me in Nigeria. Come find me in Nigeria and Missouri. Um, it's on the outside of Eldon, Tuscumbia. Like going toward Crocker area. This is right in between there. You know, if you if you guys you don't think I know what I'm doing, come find me, come meet me. Then if you want to train, we'll train. If you just want to get to know me, you can get to know me. But don't make up a stupid question like do you know what you're doing? So, you know, if I see something on a video, I try to apply it if I like it. Um, that's just how I am. Um, ever since I was been learning martial arts, my seafood, Wayne Wheeler from ATA, he always told me when he taught me martial arts was, you know, if you see something that you like off of a video, or in person, um, or whatever, um, try, you know, if you like it, try to apply it. He says, get up and try to do it. And so, if I were you, where's your videos at? If you want to make a stupid comment like that, where's your videos at? You know, where, when are you guys going to make YouTube videos of your own? Instead of stealing other people's videos, uploading to the, your channel, um, you know, what are you going to do all that? Just saying. So, there you have it. Knowing me as 7004, online coach and fitness. Um, also, now as Seth Martial Art Fitness as my YouTube. Um, most people know me as Seth McDonald 4. Um, but it's going to probably change to Seth, Seth Martial Arts Fitness. Um, but I might just keep my name as Seth McDonald 4. What would be normal. But um, I don't want people to get too confused. Which one is it? Um, either way it's both because I'm still the same person. It's just, I decided to go with a different name on my channel because all I do is martial art fitness. And I work out and stuff like that. And if y'all don't think I have good form, get up and try to do it yourself. I don't see you guys doing it. Um, that's the thing. And and just be 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 yourself, be who you are. Um, just think before you ask the question. You know... Do I know what I'm doing? Yes, I do. I'm not trying to be an asshole in the video for those comments, but enough is enough of the harassment on my channel. And it's just that I'm not Napoleon Dynamite. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. I don't live with my grandparents. I live on my own. That's my house right there. And another thing is, is that another thing is, is that I am really, 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 really tired of people saying I'm like the Napoleon Dynamite. 
I am not a nerd. I'm a human being like everybody else. Now, now you all might be nerds. But I'm not. I'm a hip-hop fanatic. I'm a artist. I like to draw. I'm a martial artist. I like to learn how about, about fighting. Um, I like old school hip hop. Um, I like the '90s hip hop. I don't like none of the newer stuff. Um, I like when, like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, DMX to Lil Chris, Lil Wayne to um, Eminem to Dr. Dre, um, Jay Z. To oh, I'm trying to think. Biggie Smalls, you know, all those good artists. Um, back in the day when music, rap music was rap music. Now, now anymore, rap music is not rap music. Rap music is watered down, watered down music, and and it don't make sense half time. And I do like Tech Nine. Tech Nine is probably like one of the newest groups I do like. Um, ever since he came out, I just like his bass and his, and his music, his, his rapping style. But I like his bass in the background too of his music because it doesn't sound watered down, and it sounds like real music. And that and that's the thing. It's just that a lot of people. Um, and he's from Kansas City. He's from Missouri. So, that's another thing. That's another reason why I like him. Because he's from Missouri, my home home state. So, it's like... And that's the thing, you know. If you all think that my videos are no good, go out and make your own videos. That's all I'm saying. You know, if you think you do better than me, go out and make your own. So if you're leaving a stupid comment on my channel thinking, you know, oh, do you know what I'm doing? Thank you for you asked a stupid question like that. I'm sorry if I offended you. There you are. But it is what it is. Um, I'm just tired of stupid people making stupid comments on my videos when halftime, when they don't even make sense themselves when making the comment. You know, it's like, do you know what you're doing? Yes, I know what I'm doing. If I didn't know what I was doing, I would not make the video. Seth McDonald for as known as Seth McDonald Martial Art. Seth Martial Art Fitness channel. Um, please hit the like, subscribe. Um, but always be yourself, be who you are, what you want to be in life, and go for your dreams. But don't be a bully on YouTube. That's one thing, you know, I don't tolerate really too well is people leaving bully com back in my day, you know, if you wanna if you wanna tell somebody something, you tell them to their face. You know, you don't leave it in the comments. So, if you ever want to message me, if you ever want to get a hold of me, message me on Instagram, 7th on the 4, Instagram. You know, if you ever want to talk, message me there. And, and I'll chat with you. I don't care. And I'll even video call with you. If you want a video call. And, but, and you better be real if you really want to do that. And because I want your opinion on it. So, like I said, please hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment down below. But not a dumb comment. Sorry if I offended you, but that was kind of a dumb comment earlier. Whoever it was that made, do I know what I do, know what I'm doing? Yes, I started when I was 15 years old. 
Yes, I am 36 years old right now. And yes, I am highly trained at martial artists. I never stopped training in martial arts itself. And yes, I love martial arts. And that's always been my life. Will I ever quit it? Till the day I quit walking. That's when I'll quit. So, if I can't, if I can't walk anymore, that's when I quit training in martial arts. So, and I made, I made an oath to myself that if one of these days, if, if anything's ever happened to me, where if I can't do martial arts anymore, then if I get to the point where I can't train in it anymore, um, like I'll say my foot, whatever, can't let me train in it, then... I won't do it anymore. But there you have it. Seven down four. Known as Seth Martial Art Fitness. Please hit the like, subscribe. <laughs> hit that bell notification. Hit all the bell. You'll get every one of my videos. I am sorry for making this Rook video. But I am tired of stupid comments. There you have it. Seven down four. Signing off. Known as Seth, Seth Martial Arts Fitness. Um. Be yourself. Be who you are. Be positive. Don't be a bully. Uh, if you are one on here. So. There you have it. Peace out. Have a good day. Bye y'all. I'm going in and get some grub. And I'm going to go train. Peace.